Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we are doing a what I eat in a day, getting back on track edition. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I just got back from an 18 day trip in Europe. I ate all the carbs, had all the food, enjoyed the heck out of the trip. But when I got back, my jeans were definitely fitting me nice and tight. I did gain some weight out there. So now I am going to get back on track and I kind of just want to bring you guys along so that you see what I'm eating. I also started working out again. So I've been out of the gym for now almost two years. I'm motivated getting in there. I'm like day seven today. So just, you know, just getting this going. But um, anyway, I wanna show you just what I'm doing. And the first thing that I start off with is bone broth. I love to break my fast with bone broth. It's full of collagen and protein, great for your gut health. And then my supplements. So supplements are super important. Actually, those are the first that I take because they should be taken on an empty stomach. The ones that I take are by seed and I will leave these linked in the description below for you. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but 70% of our immune system lives in our gut. So if you are having issues with your digestion, with headaches, with inflammation, with bloating, any of those things, it all stems from your gut. So that's like the first place you should start to kind of focus on. And this is just a great place to start. I've been taking seed for over a year. This is literally the best probiotic and prebiotic you can find out there. That's why it's always sold out. I'm gonna leave it linked in the description below. Go take a look at their reviews. I'm a big, like I'm someone that goes based off of reviews and these are a great place to start, I'm telling you. So if you don't have a probiotic and prebiotic that you're obsessed with, I'm gonna leave it linked below, check them out. And I just take two on an empty stomach and then I'm set for the day. And like I mentioned, bone broth is my go-to for breaking my fast. Now you can make it at home or buy it. I'm going to heat a cup up really quickly in the microwave, but of course you can do it stovetop as well. I'm just doing a beef broth today. Okay, so I just warmed up a cup of beef broth. Now, I personally love the bone broth. Again, the collagen, the protein for me personally, I feel like I'm just really nourishing my body. But if you're not into bone broth or it's just not something that you have on hand, you can also do a protein shake or even like a chia pudding, you know, all of that is just nutritious. Like, I think at the end of the day, you just wanna think nutrients. Like, what are you putting into your body that's actually nourishing for your body? So, bone broth has, you know, 13 grams of protein, collagen, it's just really great for your gut health. So if your focus is to heal your gut or nourish your body, then bone broth is definitely a place to start. And it tastes so good. I don't know, people are like afraid of drinking bone broth. It's really good and nourishing. All right, so we have a beautiful platter of veggies. So I just had a bunch of leftover veggies in there. I figured we'd make kebabs, just something kind of fun um, that's still super healthy, high in protein, and really beautiful to look at. So the first thing we're gonna do is set this, set this aside, and we are going to make our marinade for our chicken. So I already cubed them. I think that for like the chicken, it should be pretty big because if they're like really tiny, it's just the veggies are gonna look a lot bigger. So they're actually like a pretty big size. Now for the marinade, I'm starting off with a Greek yogurt base. You can use, you know, your favorite yogurt of choice. This is gonna help tenderize the chicken and really just like help coat it so it gives it that juiciness that you get from like real kebabs. Greek yogurt going in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start off with turmeric, okay? So we have some turmeric. Then we have our paprika. We're gonna get some nice color on here. Cumin. This here is just a little garlic powder. So none of these have any salt, okay? So you can go crazy on them. It's not gonna ruin your your chicken, if anything, it's just gonna have more flavor. A little onion powder, and then finish it off with a little salt and pepper. Okay, and I ended up adding a little more turmeric and paprika, just because I really want like that beautiful golden color in the chicken. So now we're gonna go ahead and give this a good mix, and then we're gonna assemble our skewers. Okay, so the color on this looks absolutely beautiful. And to finish it off, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of parsley. If you have cilantro, you can add that. We're just gonna do a little pinch. It's gonna look really beautiful. 
and give it that nice touch. So we have veggies, skewers, chicken. Now these are just veggies that I picked up at Traders for earlier in the week recipes that we filmed and just extra stuff. So you always can be creative with like things that you have in your fridge, you know, don't let it go to waste. This is going to turn out beautiful. And not only that, but it's going to taste absolutely delicious. I cannot wait to try this. So we have our skewers and I'll go ahead and leave these linked for you down below. The goal is to try to get three pieces of chicken on here. Okay. And then in between, you're just going to fill it with your favorite veggies. I have mushrooms, onions, peppers, and zucchini. So we're going to start off with onion. I feel like you should always start off with a veg with a veggie and onion. I feel like it has really great structure and it's not going to get like all flimsy. So I want to start off with some red onion. Okay. I'm just excited that there's so many beautiful colors and veggies. And then of course the protein guys and all of the taste, all the flavor. Okay. So these turned out absolutely beautiful. Now, to cook these, you can actually grill them, you can bake them or even air fry them. So today we are going to try and air fry them. Okay, so our skewers are looking beautiful on our little baking rack and I'm gonna spray with a little avocado oil. And I'm using my big air fryer today. So that little bad boy is already preheated to 400 degrees. So stay tuned because I'm gonna show you what they're gonna look like in 10 minutes. And we're gonna see if they're ready to come out. Ooh, this look beautiful. Look at that. Can impress your friends by making these. <laughs> all right, guys. So our skewers are all done. Look at how gorgeous this turned out. I am so hungry. Legit about to officially break my fast with this. Now you could serve this with rice. You can serve it with collie rice, even on a salad. Like think about like a big salad with a lot of veggies and then boom, your skewers on top different dressings, sauces. I have like a little cilantro dressing right here. This is my personal sauce. So I'm just going to kind of dip my little mushroom. Oh, well, I'm going to try to dip my little mushroom in there. And we're just going to have a taste. Mm. Mm. Chicken is perfectly cooked. Everything is well seasoned. Mm. Mm-hmm. This is delicious. Guys, with this meal, I love it because it has a little bit of everything. Like, of course, it definitely has a good amount of protein because there's three big pieces of chicken. And of course, you can eat one more if it's not enough. But it also has all the veggies. It's going to keep you nice and satiated. If you still wanted to drizzle like a little bit more olive oil, just like to finish it up, that's good. Just remember that fats are not the enemy and fats do keep you satiated. So they keep you full longer. The protein and fats is where it's at. Like if you eat a lot of carbs, like a bag of chips or crackers or things like that, that is only going to spike your insulin and you're going to be hungry like within 30 minutes. You don't want that, right? Because then you're just going to snack, 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 snack. So remember, always focus on protein and healthy fats. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then I'm going to show you what I'm cooking for dinner. Something really simple, but super delicious. Okay, so I have all my stuff prepped here. Now the pasta sauce, I do already have it cooking here in the back. It's my meat sauce, super simple. I'll leave it linked in the description below. What we're gonna do for our noodles. So there are, at this point in time, we do have a lot of healthier alternatives for pasta, a lot of low carb alternatives as well. You can do like shirataki, which literally has like five calories, no carbs. Um, that takes on the flavor of the pasta. It just depends on the texture. Um, for me, I don't mind it, but some people don't like it. You can also do just like, a, there's a lot of low carb pastas out there today. I'm going to go with zucchini. So zoodles, um, I have the Mexican squash and then I have just a regular zucchini that I'm going to show you how I spiralize it. So, um, and I'll leave this little gadget here linked in the description below for you in case you guys are interested in it but this is basically how it works. Okay, so I have to cut the little core off. I just cut both edges off just so that it makes it, just makes life easier with this, with this spiralizer, okay? And then you just wanna have like a bowl or anything on the other side to catch the noodles. Then you just kinda start, press firmly and then we go. Very simple actually really fun <laughs> kind of satisfying 
And if you have a big family, you would just do a few of these. I pretty much have one all to myself. Sometimes I'll do like one and a half, depending on how hungry I am. And you can saute these with a little bit of butter and garlic and um, like some seasonings, like a little onion powder, salt and pepper, and really just give it like a, a good flavor. Um, for me personally, I love eating them raw. I just think like it's like super fresh. It gives like a really fresh um, crunch. It still gives it like, it has a little crunch to it. Um, if you cook it a little too long, it will get more soggy. I don't, I don't want that for my noodles. So I actually just make mine raw. Like I'll just toss it into the hot sauce, let them kind of, you know, just play around in there for a little bit. And that I call it a day. Okay. So my sauce is nice and hot, still sizzling as you can see. Look at that. Mm-hmm. And we're just gonna pour it right on top. Now, you can totally put your noodles right into the sauce and it's gonna be obviously delish, but I just wanna put it right in the middle. This is a great, just a great healthy dish. If you wanted to keep this dairy free, then obviously just eat as is, or you can add like nutritional yeast. I'm going to top it off with just a tiny bit of parm. Parmesan has very, very low uh, lactose. So it doesn't really mess with me. Look at that. Mm -mm. So good. Let's dig into this bad boy. Hang on. Give me a little pepper. Yes, queen. Look at this. It's like noodles, I'm telling you, but it, it makes you feel so much better about having like spaghetti and meat sauce when it's with like with zoodles because it feels so much lighter. Like it does, you don't feel like the heaviness that you get from pasta. If I have pasta, I'm literally going to bed. Like I am going to sleep, food coma immediately. And this, you feel so light, energized, like you can literally like go about your day. And if you're having this at night, then you're not gonna feel all heavy and stuffed. Let's go in for the taste test. This meat sauce though, don't, don't mess around. You can literally add this to anything. You're gonna love it. Mmm. Mmm. Probably one of my favorite pasta substitutes. Promise you. It has a bite, delicious. It takes on any flavor, super light, low in calories, low in carbs. Guys, stop, just stop it. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the recipe to what I cooked today in the description below. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to share not only this video, but the channel with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle or that you know would just love some healthier alternatives to their favorite foods. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.